Welcome back, my friends. My name is Eduardo Restrepo, Mr. Roboto, for those of you that don't know me. Uh, today, we're going to do this tutorial about VEX VR. VEX VR is a tool that is very useful for simulations and to learn programming. So we're going to do this simple tutorial about things that we can do. We're going to learn the basics in about 10 minutes or less. And then you're going to go and do some exercises. Sounds good? Okay, let's start. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the page bexbr.com. As you could see over here, we have it, vr.bex.com, right? So we go to that page, and when it opens, it opens like this. By default, uh, it has um, everything in English, right? You can change it to different languages if you want. So if you go and click on the drop-down menu here, we're gonna see different options and that's it we're gonna use English for this video now we have a tutorials we have tutorials that we can use if we want to we can go to those tutorials and use them um, it's really up to you right now I'm gonna close them and now I'm gonna tell you what we see here so we have here the blocks different blocks we have we have the drivetrain which is movement magnet is to grab things looks which is in order to draw the way it's going to look things like that control to control the different blocks sensing to sense to use the sensors right operators to be able to do to evaluate things right okay variables when we want for example a score things like that and my blocks to create new blocks so right now we're going to use the basics which is the drivetrain blocks first thing is we're going to go to the playground and we're going to choose what is that map that we want to use we're going to use the grid map that's going to be the one we're going to use today why because the grid map is a grid right it has little squares and those squares allow me to navigate in a easier yeah in the in the map so we know these squares which square is 200 millimeters by 200 millimeters that's 20 centimeters by 20 centimeters we have it in centimeters you can also have it in inches if you want um, they have the two options like we can say here we're going to use millimeters okay right now okay now the first thing we're going to do is this we're going to make uh, a square very simple yes so we're gonna have my go forward, turn right for 90 degrees. And we're gonna be repeating these, yeah, until we do the square. So I can just continue dragging, or I can just go ahead and click and duplicate the blocks. Those are two different ways we can do it, right? So one of the thing I can do at one time and just duplicate and duplicate again so I know I have to have four advances on, on four turns right so I have one advance one turn two, second advance second turn third advance third turn fourth advance fourth turn right right now I have something like this and it's just a very small square but I don't see anything right now yeah very simple we can make it draw right so we go to the looks and we're gonna put that set move the roll pen down and that what it's going to do is going to go ahead and draw if you want we can also change the view we can change this is the robot view this is the top view and this is the perspective view right that we can use so now we're learning many different things right now i want to make it bigger the problem with this method we just did is I want to make it bigger. I have to change in all the blocks for the advance, right? So I have to change it four times. I'm going to show you how to make it in an easier way, right? To make it way faster. Now it's doing it. I cannot ch also change the speed, the velocity of it. You're going to see how easy it is. Okay. I want it to go faster. All I have to do is in the drivetrain and I'm gonna set the drive velocity 
and the turn velocity and I'm gonna put it in a hundred percent right now it's 50 so look at all the things we have learned today and they're so easy now it's faster right okay now I have too many blocks to do the square what I can do is if I know I'm repeating these four times all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say hey why don't we repeat four times the advance and turn commands yes so I'm gonna do that repeat four times advance and turn and remember when it, we're erasing it's just as simple as clicking on it and just dragging to the left okay we're gonna see it and you're gonna see it's exactly the same thing with the difference that if I want to change now the distance the size of my square is gonna be way easier I don't have to do it in four blocks I just have to do it in one so it allows me um, to do better things now how can I do different shapes let's try a triangle so the external angles any geometrical shape uh, when you add them together it's 360 so if we divide 360 by the sides it's gonna give me the angle okay that's how we do it for example 360 divided 3 is 120 right so I know I have to repeat it three times that's the number of sides 360 divided 3 is 120 I'm gonna put 120 here and you're gonna see how I get my triangle it's gonna look like a play button because it starts straight right very good okay now what happens if I try to do another shape very likely if it's a shape that needs to repeat down here it's gonna block and it's gonna cause a problem because this is uh, not continuous right this is like a, a little border okay so it's not gonna allow me to do it so we can change maps to do another shape we can do let's try to do uh, an hexagon hexagon let's do the arc canvas so hexagon is six sides so I'm gonna put in repeat I'm gonna put six right and I know that 360 divided by six is gonna give me 60 I'm gonna make it smaller let's put it 300 millimeters and we're gonna try look very nice look how nice it looks Eduardo can I change the color of my uh, pen yes you can put set robot pen color to and change it to blue green red and black blue green red and black sorry so I'm gonna put it down it's good having green now look we're just changing things that are there okay very simple so I'm gonna show you one more which is the circle how to do circle lines right so let's do that how many times I'm gonna repeat that's different because if I put repeat 360 I have to turn one degree and it's gonna take forever so I can do that I can say repeat 360 360 divided 360 is 1 I can do that I have to make it very small and otherwise it's gonna be super big that triangle hey right, that circle but it's a way to do it right but it takes forever another way to do it let's uh, have mm, less repetitions so let's repeat only 90 yeah uh, let's 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 have 60 so 360 divided 60 is six degrees so i'm going to put 60 by six degrees and let's make it a little bit bigger look how fast it goes but why is it smaller uh, because since it's turning uh sooner it is drawing less right so all i have to do is change the drive forward i can i can change it a little bit if i want to make it bigger so look how i make it bigger now and it's so much faster so that's how we do 
uh, circles and and curves right i can do uh, instead of 60 i can put 30 and it's gonna do 30 times 6 is 180 so it's gonna be a semicircle 180 degrees right okay if i want 170 so it will be like 45 yes 270 so that's almost three quarters right of a circle i can do that as well it's going to look like a comma kind of okay very good so and that's how you play with that so that's it so i hope you enjoy it i hope you liked it it was very simple why what can you do right now i recommend you to do right now um just to go ahead and go to the to this page and try to do different shapes octagons yes pentagons try to do a flower try to do a car try to do a tablet try to make a robot yes now we have the basic shapes that we can use so draw draw a robot how will you make a, a, a robot and just try to replicate that that's it hope you subscribe have a good day this was mr roboto robotica para mentes inquietas robotics for curious minds bye bye